A very good morning, students. Myself, Dr. Shanti Makka, professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Today, we will be discussing about how to create singly linked list. Linked list is nothing but collection of nodes. It is a linear data structure consists of collection of nodes it consisting a list of nodes. Each node has two fields. One is information field, information or data and the second is address of next node. Let me take an example. Here I am taking a linked list with three nodes. Okay. Info and next. Information are the data. I am referring with the name info. Address of a next node. I am referring with the name next. Here we have three nodes. In first node, I am storing the value 10. The first node will always addressed by the start or head. The end of the list will be indicated by placing null in the next field of the last node. By placing null in the next field of the last node. Okay. So here you can see initially we will be having a starting start address of the first node address of the first node. Initially we will be having a address of the first node and we refer that address of the first node with start. Okay. Now Suppose if I want to uh, display the content of each and every node which I have created as a part of linked list. What I will do? In start, I will refer info. Start info is 10. Then I have to refer the next node. So how do I have the address of the next node here? Now I have to move forward. We cannot move start to the next positions because if you wanted to do any further operations on the linked list, we need to have the address of the first node. So we take generally one temporary variable and we use this temp to move forward until the list gets empty. Okay. Now let me again brief. Linked list is nothing but collection of nodes. It is a linear data structure and it is defined as collection of nodes in which each node has two fields. One is information, second is address of the next node. Okay. Now, let's understand how we have to create nodes and how we have to connect this collection of nodes to make a singly linked list. Okay. Now, firstly, as I said, the node is going to have two fields and the data types of both the fields are different. As I am storing in the data field or information field, integer value, and the second field is pointing to the address. It is containing the address of the next node. Okay. That means it is a pointer type. Okay. One field it is an integer and other field it is a pointer type. Okay. So we know that structures are having a capability of storing the data which is of different data types. Now to create a node firstly I have to define the structure. To create a node I have to define the structure. So, struct node. Now, as I said in the first information field, I am going to store the integer type of data int info. Now, second field is going to carry the address of the next node 
and next node means what is the data type of the node the data type which we have created for the node is struct node so here it will be struct node okay as we know that we need to have the address of the first node so here itself because to have access on the members of the structures so we need to have the structure variables okay so first node is referred by start and another way to declare the start variable inside the main is we have to write data type struct node asterisk start so to avoid all the time using the struct node here itself also we can declare the structure variables asterisk start okay and now i'm leaving here let us see that any further variables are required or not okay one is to refer the first node another variable also i'm writing here as ptr that means this is uh, this ptr is going to used to create the new node okay now let me explain the concept how to create a linked list with n nodes so firstly what i need to create the linked list with n node means firstly i need to know that how many nodes what are the number of nodes okay so printf enter number of nodes okay scanf percentage d and percent n so we know that before using any variable it has to be declared so fine just one message will get display when i run the code enter number of nodes and after that i am going to take an input for n okay now i know the number of nodes so what i have to do i should know that how to create the node and after that how to link them each other and this creation of node and link uh, connecting a different nodes whatever we create so this process has to be repeated for n number of nodes so that is the reason i am taking a for loop here for i equals to 1 i is less than r equals to n i plus plus and here i repeat the process creation and uh, connecting but here i am using means that has to be declared so after this i have to declare the nl uh, i also now again creation of nodes creation of node has certain process firstly i have to allocate the space for the node by using malloc function i have to allocate the space that is the ptr is referring to the node which i am creating right now okay and the data type of ptr is we have declared there struct node star it is a type casting then malloc size of struct node size of struct node what is the meaning because now i need a block of space for each and every node which i which i am creating here you know that malloc is a function which can be used to allocate a single block of space okay and this particular statement is kept inside the for loop that means for n number of nodes first when i equals to 1 the space for the single node first node is going to be allocated when i equals to 2 the space for the second node is going to be allocated so malloc will be having you need to inside the malloc you have to write how many bytes of space you want for the particular node okay so for that we have a size of operator inside the size of operator see it's not the function it is a operator we have to pass either the data type or the number of bytes which you want or you can also pass the variable name here itself for which you wanted to allocate the space but bef uh, before the prior to that you have to declare that variable also okay now i know that i need the number of bytes to uh, to uh, create a node so i know the data type of the node which user which we only created that is the struct node i have written here so size of struct node means the number of bytes which you required for the one node and that number of bytes will be passed as a parameter to the malloc then this type casting has to be done because 
suppose one particular block of space has been allocated to us and we need to know the base address of the block so that from where we can start storing the data okay now the space has been allocated after that suppose if my system is not having enough space to store the a collection of nodes so when there is no space in your system automatically the value of ptr is going to be null okay that means we are checking the availability of the space so here i'll check if ptr equals to null ptr equals to null so there is no space you can simply write printf uh sorry we can't we cannot create a node fine else that means we have an enough space now what i have to do now i created a node which is pointed by ptr now what is my work i have to fill the info field as well as the next field okay so to get this info field i need to have a value so he what i'll see what i'll do here print f enter the enter the value then scan f percentage d ampersand value now again declare the value now this value suppose if i have taken value equals to value equals to 10 and this should be the value of this should be placed inside the info of ptr so ptr info equals to value fine so that means in ptr information field 10 has been copied so till this we have done ptr 10 is there okay now what i'll do i'll create a, each node and i'll append that means after create suppose this is the first node so when i create the second node i will be bringing the second node after the first node okay so that means so whatever the node i'm uh, like attaching to the existing list that's going to be the last node so we know that as i said that uh, if a node is a last node the next field must contain null so here i'll say ptr next equals to null okay now what we have done we created one node which is pointed by ptr in which the information i kept it as 10 and i play i just place the null in the next field of the particular node now this node has to be inserted into the existing list but there may be certain uh, like conditions to be checked because initially there may not be any nodes maybe uh, there may be some nodes so two cases will be there what i have to check i have to check for the emptiness how do i check if the list is empty start is going to be null if the list is empty start is going to be null if start is null that means whatever the node i have created here that is going to be the first node so what i'll write here start equals to ptr if start is null start is going to be ptr so now this is pointed by because as we know that start is null means there is no one in the list no node in the list so that means whatever i have created is going to be the first and always the first node has to be pointed by either start or any other like head variable okay head pointer variable so i am using i am habitual to use this start so i have made this ptr as the start node okay yells yells means not empty for example i am already having three nodes in my list for example 10 20 30 and null and we are creation of node filling the information field and filling the null field these are all happening inside the for loop only so that means again i created one node with the ptr and i'm placing 40 here i'm writing null here okay now this ptr has to be appended after 
the node which is having the info as 13. Okay. Now what I'll do? I'll take one temporary variable. I'll take one temporary variable where I pass the address of the first node. Why I'm doing this? Because I have to reach the, I need to have the address of the last node. That is the reason. Then here what I'll do? While temp next, while temp next is not equals to null. Here you check temp next is not equals to null. Now I'll bring temp to the next position. If it is happening, temp equals to temp next. As I'm inside the while loop, again it will check temp next not equals to null. Then come here. Temp next is equals to null. That means we come out of the loop. We come out of the loop. Then in temp next, what I have to place after coming out of the loop? Temp next equals to what? PTR. Temp next equals to PTR. See here the node is created and it, it, has, been, uh, it has been added at the end of the existing list. Fine. So I will be closing this else part. I will be closing this else part. Uh, any variable I think the temp is not been declared. So here we can declare the temp also. Then you can close this. Okay. We have created the list. See while is closed, else is closed and we are the else part of non-emptiness of the list. So that also has been closed. You can check the braces once and uh, this else also has to be closed. Done. And after this, okay, I have created the list. Whether the list has been created properly or not, how can I check? Let me traverse the list. Okay. Now we are going to write a code for traversal. Okay. See whatever the operation you do on singly linked list or any doubly linked list also, you have to traverse it to understand whether the operation whatever we have done, it's been implemented properly or not. Traversal is nothing but what? Accessing each node exactly once. Okay. Now I'll take the temporary variable again here. Temp equals to start. Now I'll use the while loop while temp is not equals to null. Here temp is not null because it's containing the address of the first node. Fine. Print f percentage d give some space or else the all contents will be uh, printed as a single number. Temp info. So what is the temp info here? 10. After that I have a space. Then now I want the address of the next node. What I'll do? Temp equals to temp next. Temp equals to temp next. That means the temp will move here. Then again temp is not null. Temp info that means 20. Then like this it will be repeated for 30 then 40. The moment temp reaches here. So we have done with all the nodes, we have accessed all the nodes and we displayed the information of all the nodes. Fine. Then we can close the program. So as we have taken the written type for the main, so before closing, you have to write written an integer number.